Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, this is uh, yet another uh, Random Rob Tour watch. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Random Rob is a fellow uh, YouTube uh, watch video creator uh, with uh, about an 80,000 um, subscriber footprint <coughs> as of the time of this um, video, probably more. He has a Discord server as well. And uh, one thing he's been doing for quite a number of years is watch tours. Uh, he uh, draws names from people who sign up for a watch tour for a particular watch. You, you enter a drawing, <coughs> pardon me again. And if your name is drawn, you're on the tour. Uh, the watch gets shipped all around the country and even uh, sometimes to Canada. And today, we have this uh, watch from, uh, how do we pronounce this? Zebeck, Z-E-B-E-C, Zebeck. I assume that's how you pronounce it. In this lovely little, um, I, I, it looks like a, a diving equipment style metal box. This is all metal. Engine turned, they call this. Looks like the, uh, Dashboard of an old uh, 70s uh, through early 80s Trans Am. <clears throat> if you're old enough to remember those things. And it's a nice uh, little dive watch. And uh, we'll open up the box and there's the watch. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, there are some other goodies in here. You get... Uh, you get a logo uh, imprinted uh, cloth, which is always nice for cleaning your crystal. You get a two-year warranty card, and you can see this is serial number 67 out of 100. And, of course, the links that uh, were already taken out of it when I got the watch. By the way, the links are secured with screws. Now, as to the watch. Uh, fortunately, this pillow, uh, it looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> um, it's been bounced around the continental United States and uh, unfortunately, it's beginning to show it. Uh, Zebeck might want to take note. Maybe you might want to get a bit durable, more durable cushion, but that's minor. And here, we have the Zebec Corsair ZC1. Um, this uh, lists on their website for 249 pounds or bob or uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, which in uh, the exchange rate that I looked up this morning in uh, mid-August 2023 was $320 approximately, <clears throat> United States. Um, you might want, I'll leave a link below to uh, ZBEX website so you can check on current pricing and then you can use Google or a conversion app or something to convert the price to uh, whatever currency you use. Uh, we use dollars here, so I converted it to dollars, of course. <clears throat> As you can see, this is a dive style watch with uh, dual crowns. Now, crown up here at the two o'clock uh, when unscrewed. As you can see, it has that little orange stripe in it, which corresponds to the orange stripe of the inner dive bezel. Um, it's, this bezel is fixed. The bezel on the inside is rotatable. And if you unscrew it, you can see it rotates. Now, here's the other problem I ran into with the watch. I don't know if this is a particular to this watch being uh, that it's bounced around uh, a lot of different owners or whatever. But 
oh, it is unidirectional in a clockwise direction, which is different from all other dye bezels I've ever experienced, which are unidirectional in a counterclockwise manner. Um, if you, you, know, you spin this, you can see I'm spinning it, and it starts and stops. Uh, it's actually behaving a little better right now than it was uh, just earlier today or yesterday. And it's really hard to get this one to line up. That's about as good as I can get it. And then you screw it down. Um, this is very much in the same style as the uh, Zelos Hammerhead 2. Uh, not Hammerhead, Helmsman 2, which I've reviewed that watch before. You can look at that in my, on other places on my channel. It works, but maybe there's a durability issue but hey you saw on the card there you got a two-year warranty so you can contact uh, Zbeck and uh, talk to him about it other than that this watch has performed flawlessly for me it's keeping excellent time and uh, works very well the bottom crown here at the four o'clock when you unscrew it and it does unscrew and you can hear and feel it disengage uh, is a single pull, hacks the movement, and due to the type of movement that's in it, which is a no-date movement, there's no ghost date position in there, it unscrews, pulls out once, and you're in time setting mode. Give it a little push inward, and it screws back down and gives you your full water resistance. We'll get to that in a minute. It has a nice combination of polish and satin finishes. The setting crown is logoed, as you can see. You have a very nice um, five link bracelet, which I really like. I think it's very attractive. I love, I love the center link is a little bit bigger than the two outboard links. You have a very nice fold over clasp locks very solidly fold over locks it down even more twin push button release so this watch isn't going anywhere once you lock her down you have a lot of micro adjustments six positions i'm on position number three owing to the fact that uh, most of the removable links on this watch were already taken out except for one on one side and well really you can't really remove that link where, where are you going to attach to so there's only one removable link left that you can actually remove and there were as you can see <clears throat> four others when i got it but fortunately it was already pretty much fit me uh right out of the box from the uh previous um tour uh, tour guy uh tour um, participant on the back, you have a solid screw down crown, logoed uh, with the usual verbiage about, you know, um, movement and case material and water resistance and so on and so forth. And it is individually serial numbered, as you can see, number 67 out of 100. <clears throat> it's a very simple dial, uh, kind of a... Um, emergency style orange that that bright <clears throat> pale but you know pale color but bright orange um and a flat black uh dial with uh applied indices and track and all that that you know has a good superluminova on it <clears throat> solid all-around watch i'm gonna give you a wrist shot here I gotta zoom out a little bit too. There we go. And as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, uh, the watch fits very nicely. It has very short lugs, as you can see, and they drop away from the case uh, very quickly. And you can see the down the barrel shot, there's plenty of room. Uh, there's no overlap on my wrist. I'd say that this watch could probably fit on someone with down to about a six and a half inch wrist before it begins to look silly. The 
but it really is a, a very nice, uh, very nice watch. So, <clears throat> the the company um, I thought was interesting because I've never experienced a watch from Scotland. Uh, the watch, the company Zebec is based in Scotland, which makes sense that they list their pricing uh, primarily in uh, pound sterling. Uh, the company name Zebec is, uh, and I thought this was an interesting factoid to share, uh, is based on the name given to small fast ships used by both traders and Corsair pirates back in the 1700s. Hence the name Corsair, which is a, a style of a pirate ship. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. There are two colorways uh, with this watch. There's this one, which is called the Curious Orange. And then there's uh, the second one, which is, um, what is it called? Soylent Night, which is a green color. Like Soylent Green, you know, anyone who's seen the uh, uh, the movie will understand the reference. You have a flat sapphire crystal, which is nice at this price point. And twin screw down crowns, as I've shown you, the internal bezel, which I've shown you. Everything you see is 316L stainless steel. The bezel, the outer bezel, the case, the bracelet, the clasp, everything. Inside, as you probably saw in the shot of the uh, reverse, is an NH38 movement. Uh, that is a Seiko movement. But we all know by now pretty much all micro brands are using either Miotas uh, or Seiko NH models uh, or the occasional Salita SW you know, 200 or 2XX or 3XX. <clears throat> It is a 42 millimeter case, 20 millimeter lug. Now, I thought that was a little undersized uh, for a 42 case. Usually you see a 22, but you can see that the lugs, you know, not only drop away very sharply off the case, but they also tuck in, which helps with the overall tip to tip, which is 46 millimeter, which is why this 42 millimeter can wear nicely on smaller wrists. And it's not terribly thick at 13.2 millimeter. And as you can see on the uh, dial, it is a 200 meter water resistant. So when both these crowns are screwed down, this can be a dive watch. In fact, it is marketed and sold as a dive watch. I just hope the other models of this watch have a better internal uh, bezel mechanism than this one because you know trying to line that bezel up uh, trying to line that pip up with your minute hand and trying to do it smoothly you know for this watch obviously is going to be a bit of a pain if this were my watch and it came to me like this i would immediately send it back and say uh either fix it or you know replace it or give me my money back i'll leave that up to you but i would not be happy with this in my collection with a internal bezel working like this but that's just me. <clears throat> I did not point out it does have a signed uh, clasp as well. But, you know, not detracting from, you know, the little thing here and, uh, you know, the bezel there. I mean, that this is something I, I would ignore for the most part, but the bezel I wouldn't. But even given the bezel, you know, this would be a decent watch to own. I, I think it it looks good. It's very, it's very simple, very clean design. Uh, I, I, I love orange. Uh, even I, I prefer a darker orange to that, but I do uh, love orange. And I think the the indices look really interesting. I, I like the way the the overall package looks. It's very clean look, very simple look. Uh, dare I even say elegant? Uh, so definitely a watch that uh, you should consider. Uh, I don't know if they're all sold out yet. You'd have to check the website for that. But I would say definitely this is a, a watch worthy of consideration. 
And that's really it. I mean, there's not much more to say. It's a very simple watch. It does uh, what it's supposed to do, and it does it well. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be uh, useful, educational, informative. If you did, please click that thumbs up for me. Uh, clicking the thumbs up button, the like button, whatever you choose to call it, does help with the YouTube search algorithms. Helps bring people to the channel. And I'm always about trying to bring more people to the channel. So it's a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you're going to uh, be insulting or you're going to try to troll me or you're going to leave links to bad places on the internet, I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. There's always one. Always. Every video. There's always one. <clears throat> you think they'd have something better to do. If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm glad you're, uh, you're here. I'm glad you found my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll take the opportunity to enjoy many, many videos that I have on my channel. I think I'm somewhere near a thousand videos at this point. Uh, all I ask in return for all this great information and entertainment is please click that subscribe button at the bottom of the uh, view screen. And when you do that, don't forget to click the bell icon too so that when I upload new material or I do a live stream, you will be alerted to these things. And as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there and it's not getting any better. So please be careful out there. Stay safe. Be well. See you soon.